is going to be a quick software tour of the Apple original message pad. So let's turn it on and first I'm going to show you what version this is running. So oh whoops, click the wrong thing. I clicked on that was a bit of preferences. So as you can see down here it's running version 1.3. So, let's go back out. So, what your main screen is, is this notepad right here. So, today. So, I'm writing kind of sloppy. And you can just scrub like that to erase it if you make a mistake. Or you can click undo. Down here. There will say nothing to undo. Because you can only do a couple actions. You can scrub like that to erase. And so, right today is, wow, it's not getting my handwriting. It used to be, but I had it away in a box for a little while, so it wasn't that great anymore. I didn't remember because I reset it, probably. You can go into extras, preferences recognizers or handwriting style or whatever. You can just scroll down a little bit. And oh whoops. Um it'll give you a practice field right here so it wants me to write dollars. But since I'm behind the camera it's a little hard to do. And um so let's take a tour of the extras drawer, shall we? Yep, inbox which is if you have a Beam or email set up, which I don't because I don't have anything else to send anything to. You have Outbox, which will be stuff you want to send. You have your connection, which will allow you to connect over Serial if you have the connection pack to DOS, Macintosh Serial, or Macintosh Local Talk. Whatever that is, I have no idea. Let's go back to the extra store. There's also this, which will allow you to connect to um, telephone or receive items through the telephone line. You have your card, which is in right now. I have a game, so it'll tell me to click on this down here. You have your calculator, a basic calculator. Just do all your multiplication. It works. I've tried it. The formulas which you can use to convert currency. Now you'd have to set what the currency is in exchange rate is right now. Because what's on there probably isn't any good anymore. Now here's time zones. You can select your time zones, like you can have a home and a vacation set. And you can say I'm here. And you can exit out of that. Then you have your preferences not a bunch of options here, but there is quite a few, like personal, date and time, loc local, sound, sleep, memory, pen alignment, recognizers, and all that other stuff. There's also styles, which you can choose what size font and everything. And the mystery, which doesn't come with this, it's on my card. Um, and here's the contrast, volume, and all that stuff. Now a thing I think is cool is this clock icon. It will bring up oh, it went away. It'll bring up time, battery, all that stuff, and it'll go away to get out of your way. This screen is very reflective as you can see. And um, there's your undo, find, assist. Assist is pretty cool, so like you could say call I'm just going to use the keyboard since it's not used to my handwriting. Um, like, you could say... Okay, I didn't even type that because you didn't select where it was going. You could say, call... Four one one, which is a contact, and you can hold, select it. Oh, whoops! 
I'm not quite used to this yet, and it's especially hard to do it behind a the camera, then you can click assist. And then it will bring up a call box, and you can go to options about this, um, your area code, prefix, whatever else, and you can select between speaker and modem, which this doesn't have a phone in it, you have to take a phone and say call, and hold them up. which it doesn't work with the current technology, so that's too bad. But, you know, it's old. Yeah. So, down here you have your different types of writing, a keyboard, and note-taking, or whatever that is. You have your name space, which I'm not going to open up because there's personal stuff in there. Now, if you click this, it will open up a preview. It'll open up all your notes and all the dates. So, and that's pretty much all I can think of for the software, except up here you can file in different folders, you can do all sorts of communication options, which I don't have because I don't have it. You can also draw across the notepad to make a new note, and if you write something and you don't want it, you can just erase it like that. So that's pretty nice.